Hello and welcome to Only Connect, a semi-final, which means both teams here have already won two matches to get this far. They're both brilliant and it's going to be very hard to separate them. They're like the Siamese twins of cleverness, which I suppose makes me the surgeon. Luckily, I've had a drink, so my hands are nice and steady. On my right, it's the Epicureans. David Brewis, a schoolmaster who enjoys knitting and is studying to be a London cab driver. Aaron Bell keeps wicket for his local cricket team and works for an internet bookmaker. Katie Bramall Stainer, a GP who hails from Staffordshire and is obsessed with synth pop karaoke and her cat Boodles. They're a team of foodies, they are the Epicureans. Katie, your team's getting quite a name for itself in the missing vowels round. What's your secret there? Hmm. Teamwork and rhythm. I couldn't agree more. Let's see who you're up against in this semi final. On my left, the Wrights. Pete Wright, an IT specialist with a passion for crosswords and course fishing. Rosa Wright, a learning support assistant who intends to train as a mental health nurse. And their captain, Liz Wright, an IT worker with a degree in politics who's learning to play the piano. They are a family team from Leeds. They are the Wrights. Liz, you've led your family to victory twice. How have you managed to keep them in line? Um, love, kindness, and if that doesn't work, I threaten them. Perfect. That's what I call maternal skills. Let's get on with the quiz. In round one, teams, I simply want to know what is the connection between four apparently random clues. But if you see fewer than four clues before giving me the right answer, I'll give you more points. Now, Epicureans, you won the toss, but you've thrown the rights in first. So, Liz, please choose your Egyptian hieroglyph. Uh, water, please. Water. The first clue of the semi-final coming up now. Dubrovnik, um, place, Yugoslavia, something like that. Next, Kaliningrad. Have they changed their name? Have they changed their name? That's a bit obvious. Uh, next, Kabinda. They don't mean the same thing or something, do they? Have you heard of them? I've heard of them. No, I've not heard of them either. Uh, next, Alaska. Oh, they all, did they all used to belong to Russia? Oh, should we go for that? Because Alaska used to be a Russian territory before the US took it. Over. Ten seconds. Yeah. Good for me. I've no Okay, we'll go with that. Uh, well, so they all used to belong to Russia. They did not. Acquisitive as Russia may be, it never owned all of those. So over to you for a possible bonus. Are they all exclaves? What do you mean by that? Well, Alaska is part of America, but it's not actually attached to. Neither is Kabinda, nor Dubrovnik, nor Kaliningrad, Kaliningrad their parent countries. They are exclaves for a bonus point. They are all separated from their proper countries by a strip of land. Dubrovnik is part of Croatia, Kaliningrad of Lithuania, mm. and Kabinda of Angola. But they're all separated by strips of land. Exclaves for a bonus. Epicureans, please choose your own question. Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. First clue coming up now. Next. Next. Well, I don't think it's by Louis. Next. Mm. Ten seconds. Yeah. Are they written by I'd say we're yeah. all in a straight line with that. It's a total guess. But it's, yeah. it's quite nice. It's quite nice. Oh, Three yeah. seconds. We'll take a punt at them all being illustrated by the author. Do you know, that's never happened, but I'd like to see it. I'd like to see an illustrator tackle a dictionary and Justine. It would be an interesting weekend, but I'm afraid it's never taken place. So a possible bonus for you now, writes. Have they all been written by somebody else? So Casanova didn't write his own memoirs? No. These are all works that were on a list called the Index Librorum Prohibitorum. Catholic they were banned oh, by the Catholic oh, Church. Oh, Madame Bovary, Justine and Casanova's memoirs, obviously, for general oh, salaciousness. And the dictionary. Why do you think Larousse's dictionary was banned? Did it contain some naughty words? Yeah. It, well, it did, but the main problem was its definitions of religious terms ah. were not suitable, not how the Catholic Church saw things, so that was banned. Not banned anymore, but that is the connection, so no points there. Right, family, please choose a hieroglyph. Uh, horned viper. The horned viper. First clue coming up now. Zeus, gods, etc. Yeah. Uh, next. Tutankhamun, he's incarcerated, discovered by Carter. Father of everything. Uh, next. Cronus, God of time. Father of time. Tutankhamun. 
Are they all father? Oh, no, I don't father think. Is, well, Zeus is father of the gods. Yeah. Uh, uh, shall I go for the next one? No, it's another one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, another talk one. About it yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, another one. Next. Cain's. Cain and Seth. They were, were they sons of Adam? Are they all or younger seconds. brothers? Or older brothers? Younger Zeus brothers? Be, yeah. I wonder if they were. Oh. Shall I try that? Three seconds. I'll say they're all younger brothers. I'm no. afraid that's not the answer, so it's a possible bonus for the Epicureans. Yeah, I think we're going to try it. Were they killed by their brother? You're in the right kind of area. It is to do with families, but no. In legend or fact, all of these dodgy characters married their sisters. Oh. That's the connection. Oh, wow. Epicureans, your turn to choose. Uh, could we have Twisted Flax, please? You certainly could. What is the connection between these clues? First one coming up now. Okay. Next. Okay. Yeah, okay. Next. Okay. Okay. These are all the questions. These are questions. Yeah, it's a question. What's a guila? Guila is a certain colour. I think we need to Next. Is it going to be in English? No, it's not a sequence. Um, they all mean the same thing. They all mean the same thing. Um, uh, oh, that's lovely. Yes, that's lovely. I think it's probably worth. It'd be good. Should we? Should we see the last one? Well, that means head or head or tail. Go on, should we go for the next one? Should we go for the next one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah go go on, on, next. next. Five seconds. Yeah. It's heading, yeah. Heads or tails. Heads or tails in a variety of different countries. Do you know which countries? Spain. Spanish, Portuguese, German, and then French. French. The last two are German and French. The first two are both Spanish, actually, ah. in Mexico and Spain. Ah. They ask the question in different ways. Heads or tails? Very good, you get the points. Right family, I think it's about time you acquired some points. <laughs> we'll try. Uh, lion, please. Lion. These are going to be picture clues. You've got the picture question, and the first one is coming up now. Oh, is that David? David. I think it's, it's David. David. Yeah. Uh, next. Madonna and Child. No idea why that would be connected with the other one. Michelangelo. Oh, possibly. Next. That's Da, That's da Vinci. Vinci. That's yeah. man. Mm -hmm. um, I think so. Mother and not. Child. Man. David. I think it's David, but I'm not sure. David, Madonna, Mum. David. Ten Ma seconds. David, Madonna. Take another one. Next. That's Adam. Um, Two seconds. Creation. They're all pop groups or something. Uh, they're all pop groups. They are not all pop groups. What are they all, Epicureans? Teenage Mutant Ninja Stroke Hero Turtles. They are works of art by Donatello, Raphael, Leonardo and Michelangelo. The Mutant Ninja Hero Creature Turtles. <laughs> so, bonus points for you, Epicureans. Well done. Shame. Cowabunga. And it's your turn to choose. Uh, two reads, please. OK. I think we can guess that that will be the music question, because it's the last one. We haven't had that yet. You'll be hearing your clues starting now. Mm -hmm. Sounds fun. Should we go next? Next. OK, that's the third man. That's the Italian Lions theme, I think, from the third man. Mm -hmm. Next. Next. Have another one. next. Okay, is it all someone's theme, Harry's yeah, theme? Yeah, 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 yeah. Next yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. Go, go for it. Yeah. Someone's theme. You're absolutely right. We heard Leia's theme from Star Wars, of course, composed by John Williams. Lara's theme from Dr. Zhivago. Lola's theme from, I think you knew this one, The Shapeshifters, and you denied us all the opportunity to hear Crockett's theme from Miami Vice. Jan Hammer, that would have been next. Very well done. At the end of round one, then, the Wrights have yet to score, so the Epicureans are in the lead with five points. <laughs> Round two is a little bit trickier. Sequences now. There are four connected clues, but I want to know what is the fourth clue, and the team should be able to work it out because it comes in a sequence. Right, so your turn to choose again. Um, can we have Horned Viper, please? You may have the Horned Viper. What is fourth in this sequence? First in the sequence is coming up now. Angelotti, got no idea. Is anybody else? Chorus of Angels in Italian or something. Yeah, something like that, Dan. Next. Scarpia. That Body sounds vaguely class. familiar, but I'm not sure what from. Uh, it's next. Building. It's a church. Cavaradossi. Again, that sounds familiar. Angelotti. It's a cathedral in Italian or something like that. Have you heard of it? No, it means nothing to me. 
next. No, it's sequence. Oh, sequence. I've got to go next. Um, and gone for the cover. I don't know. Have you got any idea? Five seconds. Oh, I don't know. Nope, you're out of time. Oh, so there's a possible bonus for the Epicureans. Who are the main family, isn't it? OK. Um, Wattaja. Why? Are they the surnames of popes? They are not the surnames of popes, although I like the guess. These are... Now, I thought you people would be so clever, you might watch opera unironically. But no! Oh. These are the deaths in Tosca. The oh. opera by Puccini <laughs> and Tosca oh, would be the last yeah. one. <laughs> that was the sequence there. Epicureans, please pick a question. Water, please. Water. First in a sequence coming up now. Next. 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 <clears throat> okay. Oh, the triangular number's going backwards, so it's 34, 21, I think. Is that a Should we confirm? Should we confirm no, number no, three? Should we no, go next? Because yes. these, are, these are definitely yeah, triangular right. numbers going backwards, okay, 34, okay. 21. I think we should go, just go, go for it. Go. 21. Do you want to go for it? Go for it, yes. yes. Okay. Go for it. Happy? Yes. All right. I've been informed it's 21. That is absolutely correct. The answer is 21. Well done. You recognise them. I think I, I heard you call them triangular numbers. Yeah. Technically known as Fibonacci numbers. Oh, no, these are Fibonacci numbers. Sorry, sorry, yeah. Yeah. Fibonacci Wrong sequence. They're not triangular. Not triangular numbers. Not triangular at all. Fibonacci numbers, Still. where each number is the difference mm. of the two before and 21 is the right answer. Well done. So, very well done to you. Coming in after two clues, you get three points. Over to you then, Wrights. Uh, Eye of Horus, please. Eye of Horus, first in the sequence, coming up now. 1950 soap. <sighs> um, is this one words? I don't know. Next. 1952 tea. Is it to do with commercials or...? Possibly. Is that something that's sponsored something else? Totally. Uh, should we go next? Next. So. Oh, it's, what's what's the next, the next one? one? Meat. Is it meat? We'll go for meat. I'm afraid I can't give you that for two reasons. Oh, so I'm going over to the Epicureans for a possible bonus. Really? OK. 1954, end of rationing, everything else. That's correct. These are the order of years that food yeah. rationing stopped in Britain and I needed the year yeah. Yeah. and to hear that it was everything. All food ceased to be rationed in 1954. And just look at the size of us now. <laughs> so you get the bonus there, Epicureans. Please pick your own question. Two reads, please. Two reads. First in the sequence coming up now. Oh, that's an anagram. Is that an anagram? Is that an anagram? No. No, it's, no, it's not. No, next. Two spoons, Simpkins owner. So what's four, four stones? A hundred weight, isn't it? What's going no. on here? No, I, think I don't get it. Should we, we go, go next? Should we go next? next? Three stones, Richard Sharp. Who, who no, that's people? not Sharp in the novel, is it? No, no. That's, uh, um, stones. Uh, stones. Four stones. What they were sold for, bargained for. Sounds a bit literary. It does sound literary. Some game. I don't think you know. Don't no, don't know. Don't know. Don't don't know. know. It. See anything oh, it's at all? Four, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, it's not though. The reason that's wrong. Yeah. Say four stone, a random name. Tommy. Smith. Four stone. Tom Thumb. <laughs> for what reason? We do not know. I'm afraid. I can't accept that as an answer. So, possible bonus for you now, rights? Well, we're thinking it's four stones, but what they equal... Has anyone got any ideas? Mm. None at all, I'm afraid. No, we're no. stumped by that. This is such a beautiful question. This is to do with counting cherry stones or prune stones. One stone, Tinker, Tom Snout is the Tinker from Midsummer Night's Dream, oh. a tailor, oh. Simpkin, oh. the cat belonging to the Tailor of Gloucester by Beatrix Potter. Three stones, Richard Sharp, Sharp the soldier, so I wanted to hear the name of a sailor. Lord Nelson, for example. Oh, unbelievable. Tinker, tailor, soldier, sailor. Welcome to the semi-final. Mm -hmm. Right, please pick a question. Uh, lion, please. Lion, first in a sequence, coming up now. Marathi, I've got no idea at all. Uh, next. Telugu, do these sound familiar to you at all? No, they Lion. don't. Should we get the next one? Uh, next. Bengali. Are there types of tiger? Are the languages of India? Most, Most spoken, spoken, biggest oh, states Erdin? in India? Hindi. Hindi? Hindi or Urdu. Which one? Are you sure they're languages or are they I think states? They're, they're languages. So which one do you want to go for? Ten seconds. Oh, Urdu, Hindi. Which one do you want to go for? Hindi. All right, shall we? Mm -hmm. uh, we'll go for Hindi. Well, you're off the starting block. Right. They are the most common languages spoken in India, and Hindi would be next. Actually, I'd probably have accepted Urdu, because that's, that's just a different register of Hindi. Oh, right. So okay. I'd have taken that one. Very well done. You've got two points. Yeah. Over to you now, Epicureans. You'll have the twisted flax. 
These are going to be picture clues. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? The first one's coming up now. Two four o one. Is that on the mobile phone? Yeah. So what? No, but four letters on, don't it? Next. Three four three. So is it a kind of cat? Uh, sure, this is going to be a mobile thing. Three four three. That would be F. Should we go next? E. Next. E. Sack. Sack. Forty nine. Hang on, they square numbers. Can we see them again? They're all square. Square numbers. Three four three square. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Ten seconds. No, I don't, sure it is. No, I don't think it is. Kitten. Oh, how many going to Five seconds. So it's seven many, wives. Seven wives. Yeah, good. Excellent. Seven wives. And you're absolutely right. These are encountered while going to St Ives, backwards in the riddle. I met a man with seven wives. Every wife had seven sacks. Every sack had seven cats. Every cat had seven kits. Yeah. Brilliant. That riddle has always annoyed me enormously. You know the answer? The question is how many were going to St Ives? And the answer's one, yeah. because I was going. Yeah. And I met these people. This is assuming they're coming the other way. Yes, yes. What if you met them because you were all going to St Ives but bumped into each other at a pie shop you on the way? You don't overtake them, there's so many of them. Yeah. On a... Quiz like this, where exactness is key. I don't like a riddle where the answer doesn't hold up to scrutiny. <laughs> Nevertheless, wife is what I was looking for, so you get the points. And that means at the end of round two that the rights have got two points, but the Epicureans are in the lead with 11. <laughs> round three is the connecting wall. Four groups of four connected clues, but this time they all come at once, jumbled up. Sixteen clues in a blaze. The teams have to sort them back into the four connected groups of four. Epicureans, it's your turn to go first this time. So my first question is, would you like lion or water? Water, please. OK, the water wall is coming your way. You've got two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. OK, we've got lines. Yes, imagine this one. Imagine OT, but I think that might yeah, be a, yeah, a red arrow. Okay. You've got kinds, of, got kinds of cuts for diamonds, baguette, we oval, have. emerald, oh, yes, really princess cut. Princess and yeah. hair. Shall I go hair for cut, something? Yeah, 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 yeah go for yeah. those. Uh, hair, emerald. No, OK, what else we got? Baguette? Is that kind of Yes, it, it is, okay. definitely. Okay, I think fine. we might have... Um, Why is Olympia in brackets? Characters from... Um, uh, uh, characters uh, from uh, opera, Odette uh, Secret. Secret. Wolfgang is called um, Mozart, so that might be the... Uh, you've got an emerald. I think we've got so, too many cuts here, guys. OK, fine. OK, keep trying. I'll keep so trying. Do you want the lines? What lines have we got? Well, got... Uh, no, I don't got think we have, though. We've only got uh, Maginot and Siegfried, I don't think. What's Mannerheim? I don't Manaheim, know. I don't know what Mannerheim is. Have we got any architecture apart from Gothic? Yeah, yeah, we'll gin around. drinkers, that stands out. What's gin drinkers going to be? Maginot. People who suffer from uh, something. Maginot. Maginot. Um, should we go Wolfra... I think Wolfgang and Siegfried are not going to be in the same group. They're too close together. No, it's too a bit yeah. obvious. Oh, it'd be um, hard to think what Maginot would be if it yeah, weren't a line. So. You've used one minute. Oval. Oval. Um, Sporting grounds, oval, oval. Olympia, that sort of thing. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe, something. but why is it in brackets? Kensington Owl Gardens, Kensington, Kensington Gore. Brackets, Olympia. Kensington yes, yes, Gore, yes, Kensington that's right, Olympia. Yes, and Good. one more then, Kensington um, Oval. Kensington Good, Good. OK. Right, right. And that'll help a lot. Uh, I'll do so these now. Should we do the um, cuts? I'm, do, I'm doing them, yeah. Leaving out three. OK, fine. Manaheim. Leaving out Princess. Uh, okay, right, okay, right, right. Just, so you just get three minute. attempts and you've got a minute left. Okay. Uh, so these have princess. to be lines, so well, hold on. Good. They don't Odette. necessarily they don't necessarily um, let's think about it. We haven't got um, fonts, else. have we? Princess Gothic. I think Manaheim. Manaheim a font? I, I think an Odette. Gin drinkers is not going to be a font. So what so would what's if gin that's drinkers going to be then? What would these be? Oh yeah, true. Would they be lines? The gin drinkers line is that some sort of? I don't know. A Wolfgang. Should we try try Odette with the try with what we think is most likely to be a font? Okay. Should we try it with Siegfried? Yeah. Or is Wolfgang one of them? What about Wolfgang and Siegfried? Would they really be in the same group? We've got 30 Possibly. seconds. Possibly. OK, let's, we've only got one we've left. We've got one life left. OK, should we go Siegfried, Wolfgang, Princess and Gothic? Or do we think Odette? Siegfried and Magnus are together, aren't they? I don't think we've got these links they? properly yet. OK, let's have a little think, see if we can do this. Is it a club? Odette? Um, Who's it? Who is Odette? Yeah, are they football clubs, Manhattan? Ten football? seconds. Let's go Just for go Siegfried, for Magnus, Wolfgang and Gothic. We've no, done that, Well, that's it. Your third line is gone. Mm. So, you found two groups. That means two points. What about the connections? Gardens, Gore, Oval, Olympia? Kensington. That's right. Kensington Gardens, the Royal Park. Kensington Gore is a street in London. Mm. Kensington Oval, not the Kennington Oval, but it is a cricket ground in Barbados. And Kensington Olympia, an underground station. The brackets are there. Little clue, because mm -hmm. that's in the name of the underground.
Next group, pear, emerald, brilliant, baguette. Cuts of diamond. They're cuts of diamond, so that's two extra points. And you can still get points for connections of the other groups. So let's resolve the wall. Wolfgang, Odette, Siegfried, princess. Do we think they're all characters? Are they all characters, characters from, from Wagner? Wagner? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got that. Characters from Wagner's opera. No, they are characters in Swan Lake. Oh, okay. uh, Ballet, Swan oh, Lake. Odette, that's one. See, I think, oh, yeah. not sure about Swan Lake and Tosca. My yeah, theory is... We've got a weakness here. Yeah. Too much time doing pub quizzes, not enough time enjoying high culture. Yeah. Last oh, category, Mannerheim, oh, Maginot, gin drinkers, gothic. I don't line. know. Uh, lines. What sort of lines? All sorts. All sorts of lines. I'm afraid that Sorry. is not specific Font. enough for a semi-final. They are... Defensive lines oh, in okay. World War Two. Wow. Oh. oh, right. Mannerheim, you struggle with the bits in Finland. I'd have thought gin drinkers was the, was yeah. the obscure one. That yeah. was in I'm Hong Kong. Yeah. Defensive lines or fortifications in World War Two. Right. So that is two points for the groups you found and two points for the connections. It's a total of four. Mm -hmm. Time to bring back the Wright family and see what they can do with their connecting wall. They'll get a new one, the Lion Wall. Sixteen fresh clues still need sorting into four connected groups of four. Hello again, Wrights. You have got two and a half minutes to grapple with this enigma. The clues are coming up now. Watson Hastings. Watson, Watson is a sidekick, as is Lewis and Bunter, I think. I can't see the other one. Sidekick. I, I think so. Of, um, um, some are there some fonts here? Go on here. Then. Sandwich, Ive. Dover. Hastings, you want me? No, I think it's Dover. Dover. OK. No. no. Hastings oh. is the sidekick. Oh, so that one. No. Okay. okay. Let's try that. Watson, Lewis. Mm -hmm. Hastings, Bunter. No. All right, okay. okay. It's not that then. Um, all right. Sewage works. Um, raw sewage to get anything. Raw data, raw sewage, mm. raw deal. Raw meat. Raw meat. Okay. Um, then Earl of Sandwich. Um, Induction. Uh, burden. Burden. Beast of Burden. White man's burn. Refresher is sweet. Refresher? Mm. Refresher so course, induction course, foundation course, course. sandwich course. course. Well done. Excellent. Three lines. So now, now we've still got the. Um, I think they are the ports, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Five. New Romney must be. Yeah, New Romney is Hastings. We've tried. Mm. We've tried Dover. Dover. What's burn? No. No, no, no. no. So, Only two so lives remaining. Right. Lewis is spelt with an E for the pearl. Okay. Mm. Right, okay. Um, white cliffs. Oh, wait, is no. these shadows no, of Dover Soul? Right, go on then. Okay, go on. Which ones? Well, try the other, try your other. So, theories. Watson, Watson Bun, uh, so. Lewis, and Hastings. I think we tried them. Mm. You've got a minute left okay, and one so. life. I tried. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Okay. Well, you could try it again. Are you sure? Right, okay. Um, is there anything else it could be? Is there anybody else who's a doctor? Is there anyone else? Dr. Who's... Watson, Dr. Hastings. Damien Lewis was a runner, I think. No, Damien Lewis is an actor, is it? No, is, is there anybody who's a runner or anything like that? Oh, I think we'll have to go for something, won't we? Okay, well, you shall. Right, hang on, we've got a bit of time. Those four. You've got 30 seconds. Right, do you want Hastings, Dover, New Romney, and Hyde? I think so. We've tried it, but go on. Yeah, oh, go are, are these Billies or are they Williams? Billy Bunter. Yeah. Billy Burden, anyway. Billy Hastings. Billy Burden might be. All right, Billy Bunter, Billy Burden, Billy... William Watson? Anything? Billy Hastings. Oh, have we tried them? Or? Go on, then. Watson. Uh, Ten know. seconds. One, Blue. choose one. It's not high. Loose, loose, loose. Oh, skin of the teeth on your last life with three seconds left. You've solved the wall, so that's an immediate four points for the groups. Let's see about the connections. Deal, data, sewage, meat. They're all raw. They can have the word raw in front of you them. You can just prefix them with the word raw. Induction, sandwich, foundation, refresher. They're all courses. They're all courses, educational courses. Watson, Burden, Lewis, Bunter. Mm -hmm. Where you think they're all called Billy? Or William. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that's not it. And the tragedy is you had well, it early on. I the sidekick <sighs> of detectives. Dr Watson for Sherlock Holmes, Burden was the sidekick of... Wexford, Inspector Wexford, oh. Lewis, of course, to Mawson, Bunter, the psychic of Damn. Lord Peter Whimsey. Okay. And the last group, Hastings, Dover, New Romney and Hythe. They're all sink ports. ports. They're sink ports, the historic sink ports of Sussex and Kent. So you got four points for the groups you found and three points for the connections. That's a total of seven. Let's see what that does to the overall scores. The rights have improved to nine points, but the Epicureans are still ahead with 15. 
And if you were staring at round three, thinking, these people know nothing, I'd have got the maximum ten on both within ten seconds. Why not put that to the test by going to our website? The address is on the screen now where you will find connecting walls to play. Meanwhile, we're going to play round four. This is the missing vowels round. Well-known names, phrases, sayings, sentences, quotes, any well-known stream of words, really. We've taken out the vowels, squidged together the consonants. I want to know what the original clues are. I can tell you that the first category are all buildings destroyed in the Blitz. Epicureans. Coventry, Coventry Cathedral. Cathedral. Correct. Wrights. Shaftesbury Theatre. Correct. Epicureans. Great, Great Synagogue, Synagogue of, of London. London. Yes, it is. Epicureans. St Mary Le Beau. St Mary Le Beau, correct. Next category, pairs of homophones. Rights. Colonel and Colonel. Yes, it is. Rights. Allowed and allowed. Yes. Rights. Choir and choir. Correct. Epicurean. Side and side. Yes, it is. Next category, astronomers. Epicureans. Andreas Celsius. I'm afraid that's not the answer, so it's over to you, Rights, for a possible bonus. No, the correct name is Anders Celsius. I'm afraid you lose a point. Next clue. Rights. Heather Cooper. Yes, one point. Epicureans. Aristophanes. I'm afraid that's not the answer. You lose a point. Possible bonus rights. No, too long. It's the Greek mathematician Eratosthenes. Next clue. Epicureans. Nicholas Copernicus. Correct. Next category, songs that refer to Marilyn Monroe. Rights. Vogue. Yes. Epicureans. We didn't start the fire. Yes. Don't know this one. It's the Kinks, Celluloid Heroes. Next clue. Epicureans. Handle, Handle in the wind. wind. Of course, you're waiting for that one. Next category, things found on Owen's... <laughs> maps. And you're about to see the disguised phrase contour lines, but that noise means it's the end of the quiz. Looking at the final scores, the rights have got 15 points, but the winners with 20 are the Epicureans. Sadly, rights. that means we have to say goodbye to you, but you've been a great team, brilliant quizzing, and far more importantly, an inspirational family dynamic. <laughs> so very well done to you. Epicureans, many congratulations. You are through to the final. Good luck. Please join us next time for more intricate connections and contestants with such big brains that they can hold hundreds of thousands of phone numbers. If only someone would answer. Goodbye. And the second semi is here on BBC4 at the same time next week. Next tonight, stay with us for part two of Andrew Graham Dixon's brand new look at the art of Germany. <laughs> <laughs>